Yeah. You know, when I look at what's happening in our country, and when I look at the two-tier justice system, <laughs> I'm just appalled by everything that's going on. Mm. And I know other people are appalled. It seems like people that's part of corruption, they can do what they want to. But if you're a conservative, Woo! if you're a Republican, uh, if you think a little bit different, yeah. honey, they're going to sock it to you. That's right. So on <laughs> this week, Michael Sussman, he was acquitted for lying to the FBI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I want to give people the backstory in case they don't know it. Okay. okay. But he was indicted, right, uh -huh. back in um, 2021 because he lied. Um, what he did was he did not provide the FBI with the people that he was pretty much uh, 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 work working for, for? Uh -huh. okay. which was the Clinton campaign. Okay. So really, when he made up these allegations to the FBI, he was working for the Clinton campaign, but he did not dispose. He did not disclose, give the, disclose that information to the FBI, okay. and that's how he lied to the FBI. Okay. okay. Now, during the trial, mm -hmm. come to find out, you all, according to a. Uh, 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 somebody's post, uh -huh. I'll allege it. The judge wife is Lisa Page lawyer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. One of the juror's kids is Sussman's kids rowing teammates. Uh -huh. uh, multiple juries uh, were Hillary supporters of or uh, donors. Donors, uh, right, uh, right. Uh, that was on the, the jury. So I don't think this guy was ever going to be convicted in the first place. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. So I guess it's okay to lie to the FBI as long as it hurt President Trump. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or as, as long as they're on Hillary Clinton's team. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, these people can do an attempt coup. Uh -huh. They can gaslight the country. Uh -huh. They can lie. And nothing is being done about it. Nothing. Uh -huh. Now, how is it that you can go in and deceive the FBI, okay, about allegations, with allegations about a presidential candidate on behalf of a presidential candidate? Oh, how, how do we y'all do that at? And I thought that no one was above the law. Mm -hmm, that's right. Uh -huh. But, I, yeah. I but, but no, he looks like this man may have been protected. In, in my humble opinion, I wonder who was on the payroll. Because uh -huh. it looked like the swamp protecting the swamp. That's exactly, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it looks like. And if you notice, Republicans haven't really said a whole lot. Hmm. You would think everybody in the Republican Party will be outraged by this. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, well, yeah, it's hard because to be outraged whenever you're on the same team. But, but see, here's the deal. As it appears yeah, to be. But when Michael Flynn, uh -huh. when they said that he lied, they railroaded him. Yep. He lost everything that he had. Yeah. Fooling around. And, 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 and you mean to tell me this guy just walked? Walked. Uh -huh. And I know y'all have heard of white privilege. Uh -huh. This look like Democrat uh, privilege. Straight up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Straight up. And I guess lying really means you're not lying. In their book. Not in their book. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. They're just telling a fib, I mm -hmm. guess, and just getting away with it. Mm -hmm. But now, when I look at this, and I see how the light have been shined on everything that's going on, mm -hmm. one thing it lets me know is that $40 million of Come American on. tax dollars have been wasted. Yeah. It was wasted doing an investigation into a hoax. Mm -hmm. So I want to know that Mueller know that this was a hoax. Mm. Did James Comey know that this was a hoax? Ooh. I looked at everything that's been going on, and some lights have been shined on this different thing that's that's been going on uh, when it comes down to the Clinton campaign. Right. So yeah. who's going to be held accountable for this? In the Biden's America, uh -huh. nobody is going to be held accountable for it. That is so wrong. Uh -huh. It is. It's very wrong. That because is wrong. you can take and you can railroad a sitting president, president. And nothing is done about that. The biggest crime in the history of our life. Mm. This is bigger than Watergate. Yes. You got the media silence. You yeah. got Republicans silent about uh -huh. it. Everybody want to hush it up. Uh-huh. They want to hush it up. And then I want to know what part did Obama play in this mm. and what part did Biden play in this? Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, just yeah. asking a question, because this is so wrong. This yeah. is wrong. Yeah. We see exactly what's going mm -hmm. on. We see where the Clinton campaign had paid a uh, 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 fusion GPS, uh, Christopher Steele, for that dossier. Right. We know this. We see this as evidence of this. And they called us conspiracy theorists when we try to tell y'all about right. this back in 2017 mm -hmm. and 18. And now what? Well, where is our apologies at? Somebody owe us an apology. They're not going to give us an apology. 
Honey, what they will do is smear you mm. and take you down and think nothing of it. Wow. Because they think they can get away with it in our country. Mm -hmm. But remember what I said. It's about we the people. We the people. Yeah. They do it because we the people tolerate it. Mm. Let me move the story along. Wow. So Justin Trudeau, he do he does this handgun freeze in Canada, mm. right? So he gets up, he makes this announcement. But I want people to understand that I don't think Canada, Canadians, they can get guns like that, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, not even a shotgun. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, why was Justin Trudeau posturing? What were you trying to do? Send Biden a dog whistle? Woo! You sort of see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because if they can't, can't, Canadians can't get guns like Americans like can't, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So what was he doing? Now, I want to point out something. Okay. You know, there was another shooting that happened in Oklahoma by a black man uh -huh. where four people were killed but the guns was a handgun and a rifle is being alleged. Oh. So I'm listening to the left and how they want to take away the AR-15 rifles, right? But my thing is, what about these here handguns and mm -hmm. then the other rifles? Are you going to want to take that away, away too? Yeah. You, you sort of see, what, see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And what about when somebody kills somebody with a knife? Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, and, and I, I see that it's a lot more of, of, of children and, and Americans and human beings mm -hmm. being killed via abortion. Yeah. Uh, when they're going to uh, uh, put in legislation to take away the abortion clinics. Mm -hmm. I believe 50 some people were shot in Chicago. Oh, come on. You heard nothing about that. Yeah. Okay. And see, in the Constitution, it says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, infringed. okay? That's so right. what people don't understand, our Second Amendment protects us from a tyrannical government. Come on. From a government that want to go raw against the people. Uh -huh. That's what it does. That's right. Okay, all right? And that's what people don't understand. And I heard some people, they sitting up here, they run off at the mouth. No, they put in the Second Amendment to, to really, to go out the slaves. Mm. Slave rebellion. No, that's, no. A, that's not true. Mm. That's not true. Because if there was a slave rebellion, most of those people were lynched, mm -hmm. meaning they were hung, right. not shot with guns. Right. Okay? That's right. All right, don't get it twisted. Yeah, slavery would have ended a long time if uh, uh, slaves would have owned guns, huh? If they would have had a gun. Uh -huh. Harriet Tubman had her shotgun Didn't she? when she was freeing the slaves. Come on. She wasn't going there with her hand and talking about, come on. She had her uh -huh. nice old juicy uh, 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 shotgun uh -huh. uh, ready to Rifle. do this. You yes. see what I'm talking about? Yes. And my thing is, why are you all targeting specific guns? Uh huh. It, it, I'm just because I hear people say you don't need all of that. You don't need that. You don't tell me what we, we need. need. Yeah. Why are you telling me what we need? Do I tell you what you need? Because the same people that want to take guns out of, of law-abiding citizens' hands are the same ones that are protected by guns. Mm -hmm. My thing is this here. I don't want them chipping away at our Second Amendment. That's right. And then we no longer have a Second Amendment. Amendment. Uh -huh. And now we are like slaves. Mm. We are like slaves. Wow. The rest of the world is looking at us, the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I'm sorry, we cannot allow people uh -uh. to take away our Second Amendment. No, we cannot. To take away our right to defend ourselves. ourselves. Because we don't have a government defending us. No. He defending another country overseas uh -huh. somewhere. He's sending money over there, over there. to defend them. Mm -hmm. He won't even defend our board. Mm. You see what I'm talking and about? And sending still? weapons over there for them to defend themselves. But want to take away our weapons. Woo! Yeah, ain't that something? That's something. Yeah.